You okay? Okay. Uh, so this is an example, guys. We've got to pick a side, right? So the best side to pick would be the left side, right? I definitely picked the left side. Now, you got to think. We have adding. We got to turn. We have adding and division on the left side, and we just have multiplication on the right side. So we have to combine those operations so we can get them to be. So we know we're going to be adding some fractions here eventually, right? Um, one thing that I would do is I think I need to, instead of multiplying by the conjugate here, I think my best thing is let's look at what we have and let's, let's uh, um, instead of combining terms, I am going to try to get rid of all these fractions. So first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this in terms of sines and cosines. So like my fraction over there, what I would do is instead of <laughs> combining these, I would look into multiplying by the, um, bless you, I would, I would look into finding the common denominator. So what is my common denominator between cosine, sine, and 1? Least common denominator would be the product of sine of x, cosine of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by sine of x, cosine of x. By doing that, I now obtain sine of x plus sine squared of x all over cosine squared plus sine squared, cosine squared. I'm sorry, cosine, cosine of x. That's sorry, that's just cosine of x. No, that's cosine squared of x plus Everybody follow me? All right. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if that's really helping us out. Do you? I'm not really sure if that's a better way of doing anything. Oh, it's just a sign, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Oh, Yeah. I mean, I could factor out a sign. I don't know. Let's go and factor it out and see what we have. OK, actually, this is not too bad. So I was kind of confused. I was kind of confused, Diana, as far as I didn't really know if I was doing it right or if I was on the right path. So all I did, Griffin, was I just stopped and I said, well, exactly what um, Josh said. It's like, well, we could factor something out. I don't know if that's right or wrong. But let's just, we can do it. So why don't we do that? And that's the whole thing, Lauren, is about these problems, is again, just try things. I know I can multiply by the common denominator. That's what I'm going to do. So, but now by factoring these out, those divide out. And then cosine squared is really sine of x over cosine of x times cosine of x. Well, what's sine of x over cosine of x? Tangent. Tangent. What is 1 over cosine? Secant, Secant of x. Done. <laughs>